Hey y'all, Justin here at Box Island. We are getting our first look at the brand new Skeeter ZX150 today. We're gonna shoot a little short walkthrough video for you, let you see the ins and outs of it, and uh, hope y'all are y'all get as excited about it as we are right now. This is not just a, a the same hull, the same top cap. They've actually redesigned this whole boat. They've moved a lot of the space around in this boat from where it was in the ZX190. The ZX190, in my opinion, had a back deck that was way too large for the boat. So they've put some of that extra room into the con into the cockpit area, but most of that room came to the front deck. We have a three inch wider beam, a one inch longer boat overall, giving us a true 18 and a half foot boat. But what really surprised me when we uncovered this boat was the amount of front deck space we get in this boat. We still have the same layout as the 190 has always had with your, your tackle storage in the front, your cooler to the rear. But what they did is they made this rear lid a lot longer. So we have more deck space here. Skeeter has also taken a lot of the stuff that you get in the ZX200, 225, and 250 and moved it into this boat. What I mean by that is we have the front bow panel where your front graph would go you know this gives us the option to run a stack bracket on the front mount anything we want to on the front we can still do a bridge bracket over the trolling motor pedal if we want to um, the cleats are a little bit nicer on this boat they've actually put the zx console in it that's in the 200 225 and 250 as well so starting on the passenger side rod box this rod box has gotten deeper since the 190 um, gives you a lot more space for rods. There's no rod tubes in the end of it, which in my opinion is a good thing. You put rod socks on your rods and you're probably gonna fit 25 to 30 rods in this box. I don't know of another 18 foot boat out there, 18 and a half foot boat out there that's capable of that. And the driver's side box is the exact same way. So as the 190s, as the 190s always had, you have one storage box on the front deck for tackle, which is your forward most compartment. And then your rear box is your cooler. So you have a good cooler here, very well insulated, the lid's insulated. You know, this, this box has no problem keeping ice all day, keeping your drinks cold and your, snack, your snacks good and cold for you. Um, moving all the way up to the front of the boat, you can really tell that the beam has gotten bigger up here. You don't feel near as cramped up here on the front of this boat. Um, they've done the bezel around the trolling motor pedal like the ZX has always had and that the new FXR has as well. You got a 12 volt outlet on the front, aluminum bow panel, so you could, your options are really limitless with what you, whatever you want to mount up here. So sitting in the cockpit of the CX-150, you can really start to see that extra space that I was talking about earlier. So I'm 6'5", and I have more than enough leg room in this boat. I'm, I can stretch my right leg all the way out underneath this console, and it, it leaves plenty of room for a hot foot, anything else I might want to keep down there. Um, some other little things I've done in the ZX-150 this year, is all the switches have moved to the dash panel itself. They're very easy to get to. You can see them all while you're driving. You can change, you know, anything you need to while you're running on the lake. The gauge pack is always, Skeeter keeps it super simple. You've got everything you need, nothing you don't. So the biggest thing I'm excited about in this boat is, this, is the console panel. Because forever in the 190, we had no room to mount anything. It was either ram mount or no mount. So with this, we've got the option of using aftermarket brands, precision sonar, bass boat technologies. Somebody out there will make a panel for this boat so we can dual mount 12s, 15s, whatever you want on the side of this boat. This boat has really stepped up into the ZX line. It gives you the options that you need, the ability to change the boat up and add to it as you please. Before our hands were kind of tied in the, in the TZX and the ZX190. One more thing before we get out of the cockpit here of the boat is the seats. So where the, where the 190 had always been lacking, in my opinion, was the seats. So what Skeeter's done is pulled the seat straight out of a ZX200, 225, or 250 and put in this boat. So you get a good wide seat, good back support, you have the side bolsters and you're much more comfortable. The other thing Skeeter did is actually dropped the floor here by four inches. So you have a 20 inch interior depth. It doesn't feel like you're sitting on top of the boat anymore. You're actually sitting down inside the boat and it feels just like a ZX200, 225, or 250 when you sit down in the boat. 
So like I said in the beginning, Skeeter took a lot of that extra room that we had on the back deck and moved it to the front. We still have more than enough room to fish from the rear, but we don't have so much space that it's wasted back here. We still have our live well right in the center. It's a divided live well. You still have your two storage compartments on either side. Um, they did get a little bit smaller this year in the 150, but I don't think that's a deal breaker because most time what you're keeping back here is, you know, tools, jumper cables, uh, maybe a life jacket, some extra clothes, stuff like that. There's still plenty of room for all that stuff back here, but we don't have that wasted space that we had before. It's very functional. You have a very good use of space back here. The other great thing Skeeter did this year on the ZX150 is divided the battery compartment lid. So now you have two battery compartment lids to where you can do anything you need to. If something were to break while you're on the water, you can get to it from the other side. So say we had to work on our cranking battery, we can get to it from this lid. If one of our trolling batteries need some work, we can get to it by opening that lid and standing on that lid. All in all, I think Skeeter's done a really good job with the Z150. I'm very excited about it and really want you all to come take a look at it and give us your opinions on it. So that's our short little walk through the ZX150. Hope you enjoyed it. We're really excited about this boat. Can't wait to get it to the water. Um, as soon as we do, we'll, we'll shoot some content, get some stuff out there about it, uh, on the water stuff. We'll, we'll make sure everybody has the information they need on this boat. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share. Um, if you need more information about this boat, you can get in touch with us any way possible except for smoke signals or telegraph text, call, email, message on Facebook, message on Instagram, any way possible we'll get the information to you as soon as we can, okay? Thank y'all.